Pearson International Airport's the busiest in Canada. With all the people moving through the airport, we need to find ways to move those people through and, and not delay them. Jagger. The benefit to having a dog is, is really that he can search a large quantity of passengers and luggage and vehicles in a very short period of time where it would take officers days to search the same area. I'm Officer Falzon and this is my partner Jagger. He's a canine currency uh, detector dog. He looks for cash. Oh, good boy, where's it? Show me. We're looking for currency, which is um, not reported, which is over $10,000. We're looking for crime, crime related money. Atta boy, good boy. He's uh, currently uh, 10 years old. Been working with Jagger since he was 11 and a half months. In that time, uh, Jagger's found just over $70 million. He's made over 13,000 indications. He's made probably $2.4 million in fines and penalties. His uh, largest indication was about $650,000. Oh, you're a good boy. Show me, where is it? Where is it? No, it's not there. Where to go, where to go, where to go? He's trained to indicate on the ink that the money is printed with. So not the medium that it's printed on, so not the paper or the polymer, uh, but the ink. So uh, there's something unique about that ink. He can s smell and discern a distinct difference between the, the ink that's used for currency than uh, for newspapers or for a book. Good job. You're a good boy. Search, here. Good job. Okay, ready? Up, up. Let's go, search it up. Good boy, come on, come on, come on, boy. Okay, off you get. People hide money everywhere. Money belts, is very common. I mean, some obvious, it's gonna be in a purse or a wallet, in their bags, in the socks, sewn in the underwear, sewn in the pants. Some people wear two pants. One of the ones that I, I, I find hard to grasp is checked bags. Why you'd put a large quantity of currency in a checked bag, to me, I, have, I, I don't understand because what happens if that bag goes missing? Where is it, show me, where is it? Busted. Busted. Good boy. Show me the money. Cuteness does count, for sure. I mean, as you can see, Jagger's a lab. He's a Canadian dog. He's got ears that flop. People look at Jagger, and they say, hey, it's a puppy. And, and we want that. I mean, we search little old ladies and babies and everything in between. And um, if he was a, a German Shepherd with ears going like that, um, sticked up and cropped, people wouldn't even want to come off the aircraft, let alone be searched. We don't always select lambs. We have golden retrievers, labs, springers, we've got beagles for agriculture, but we want a dog that's gonna put a smile on most people's face, faces when they see that, that animal working. It's all about fun. It's all about having fun, isn't it? Yes, it is. I know. Okay, let's go search. Let's go search some more. Hup, hup, atta boy. Good job. I'm on my 10th year at working with Jagger. We've been Good going job. to work every day for, you know, almost 10 years and you know so it's gonna be tough to leave him at home he's gonna retire at 11 that's gonna be really hard okay, but um, you know he's I think he's done his service uh, I, I think it will be hard on him because he likes to be with me 24 7 he follows me to the bathroom like we go everywhere with me and this dog and he's my best friend that's for sure um, he's gonna retire in my home he's gonna be with me I'm going to get him into uh, working at most likely as a therapy dog I mean the second thing he loves most in the world is this, just to be pet. So, and if you stop, he usually nudges you and says, hey, keep petting. So that's a perfect therapy dog. And, uh, and you know, it gives him a little bit more attention. He's used to meeting people, hundreds of people every day too. So to take that away from him, I think would be tough. So we're, we're gonna donate our time a little bit, maybe a few times a week and, and, uh, and go visit some people, give back.